Water holds a balance between extremes of solidification and evaporation, always retaining its possibilities of transformation. Like an echo of the ever-changing events of the heavens, the fullness of form in the world comes forth from water. So we were storing a vortex, which is commonly used for a lot of biodynamic preparations. And the general idea behind it is that you get layers of water that are spinning, and they, they create a polarity of movement and a vortex. And when you drop a drop of ink, you can see this vortex and the, the layers of water take hold of the ink and form it. And at first it looks as a spiral, but when you look closer, you see that there are two spirals that are going in opposite directions and one spiral is the ink in motion and the other spiral is the resistance that is naturally everywhere. What we're looking at actually uh, are several things. One is we're looking at how sensitive water is. And on the one hand, we're also finding out what we need to do in order to move the water so uh, it doesn't spill and keep walking evenly. So how we have to be in ourselves in terms of being mindful, present, and so forth. And then, on top of that, we're also looking at all the phenomena. in your body all the way through time. And the idea is to experience the extensive, intensive, extensive, intensive, extensive, and so forth. What's extensive, what's intensive? Is it the movement or the form or both and when? And you get mixed up really fast. Oh yeah. Not only does water give the human being and to all living nature the basis for existence in a living body, but it pictures, as though in a great parable, the higher qualities of man's development. Qualities such as overcoming of rigidity in thought, of prejudice, of intolerance. The ability to enter into all things and to learn to understand them out of their own nature and to create out of polarities a higher unity. All these are aims of human striving, which we can recognize also in the qualities of water.